Hello folks, it's Jamil Sorf for Gunstruck Reviews. I'm here at Scottsdale, Arizona at the C2 Tactical Indoor Range doing a couple of installs for you. One of the first things we're going to do today is talk about the TAC-13, the Remington Firearm. And it comes in with this barrel clamp from the factory and, and we installed a piece of Picatinny on one side and we put a the uh, stud for a sling on it on the other side. But some people ask me, what happens if I have a pile of M-Lock attachments at home that I want to use. Well, guess what? Remington fixed that for you. They're, they're selling now the same barrel clamp with M-Lock on both sides. So you can attach whatever attachment you have that has an M-Lock fitting and we're going to install it for you. So first things first, we're going to make sure our firearm is clear, is empty visually digitally figure out that you don't have a shotgun shell in there, which is very important. It will be a bad day if you have a, you're in working on a loaded uh, firearm. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and remove the Picatinny piece that we had in previously installed in here. Okay, this one comes out. Save it because this part is perfectly good. We're going to remove the barrel clamp. It has two Allen screws. Take one side, loosen one side and loosen the other side. Barrel clamp comes off and we're going to use the new M-lock part. Okay, here we're going to take the, loosen the, uh, M, the other screws on the M-lock one. And this is pretty simple here to install this part. Goes in exactly the same way. You gotta make sure that you have the parts loose enough so they will go in easily on your firearm. And clamp them in place. That's not a good or bad way of putting it. You put it the way you feel that you is more comfortable for you. You tighten both sides. What I would recommend is done, oh, don't, you have to go back and forth, tighten, Go to the other side, tighten, and back and forth until both sides are equally tight. You don't want to tighten one side more than the other. And do not over tighten anything. This is not going to come loose on you. Hand tight is good enough. There you go. Now you have M-lock on both sides of your TAC-13 firearm. You can attach any M-lock attachments from Picatinny rails to QDs or anything else you want to work with. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more on the TAC-13 from Remington. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.